Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you're having a great day with your loved one, your other half, maybe just by yourself like me. And you know what? That's okay. I can't give you love, but you know what I can give you? A good hug. So bring it in. Come on. Get up. Get up. All right, that, that was creepy. All right, so on to the video, the actual topic of today's video. Nothing too exciting, but I thought just for fun, uh, I would talk about my first ever Ring of Honor show. I love Ring of Honor, and um, it's really cool to look back on all the, the shows that I've I've been to for them. Not not really a lot, but just you know a handful. And um, right now, I'm just loving what Ring of Honor is doing. Yeah, they they make some bad choices here and there, um, but I just love the atmosphere, and I I just love uh, going to their events. So I thought I'd look back on the the first ever Ring of Honor show. Not even the first ever Ring of Honor show for me. This is why it's so important. The first ever independent show for me. Um, this is where, you know, I fell down that rabbit hole and I, there was a, a great and beautiful new universe that I, the whole nother world, just, just miles away, just a little miles away. So, um, you know, from down the road or whatnot. So independent wrestling has always had a special place in my heart, uh, since becoming a wrestling fan and it's, it's, it's given me great moments. It's allowed me to meet cool people, cool wrestlers. Um, it's very cool. So I found the card for the first ever Ring of Honor show that I went to. It was... None other than 2014. I know, it wasn't really that long ago. It was 2014. Little Daniel, little Daniel, little seven WWE rocks himself, was still in high school wanting to die miserably. Um, but yeah, 2014, it was Glory by Honor 13. Um, so let's get right, just right into it on the match card real quick. Just talk about, see where how far people have come. Um, but on the pre-show, it was Jay Diesel, who I believe was in the House of Truth. I don't know what he's doing now, though. He defeated Shane Taylor. So Shane Taylor's still with the company. That's cool. Uh, I remember the only thing about this match was my brother was interested in it, and he took pictures because Shane Taylor was so huge, um, and he was just posting those on Facebook. So yeah, thanks a lot, brother. Um, Tommaso Ciampa defeated Romantic Touch in the first match. Um, I don't remember this, like, at all. Romantic Touch, of course, he's Reptitus, and he's still back in Ring of Honor, so that's great. Tomasa Ciampa, I think he's doing good things. I don't know. He might be in a feud with someone. Next, Hanson defeated Mark Briscoe, BJ Whitmer, and Moose. I miss Moose in Ring of Honor. I really do. Um, this was a four-corner survival match. Um, I remember tweeting about this and being like, that was one of the best four ways I've ever seen. Um, I don't know if I look back on it. It probably it doesn't, doesn't hold up with time, but... I just think it was because Ring of Honor, it being my first show, um, I was kind of surprised by how good the wrestling was. You know, I've, I've, I've just been to WWE shows and live events, and, you know, sometimes they, not phone it in, but it's not like the greatest like, wrestling you can get for WWE shows. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's all I remember. It was a crazy four-way, so. Next, Frankie Kazarian defeated Roderick Strong. I think I was really mad about this, because I think I liked Roderick Strong, and he was doing that thing with, B.J. Whitmer and Adam Page. I forget what their group was called. Um, I can't remember it. I can't remember it all. But yeah, I think I was happy because I think Roderick Strong broke up from that group. Like he shoved B.J. Whitmer or something. And I was happy about that. I'm weird. I don't know. I was young and confused. What do you want from me? Um, Red Dragon defeated the Kingdom in a tag team uh, title match for the, champion, the Ring of Honor tag titles. I remember really liking this. And I... This was after intermission, or like right before intermission. It made me want to get a Red Dragon shirt just because their match was so good. Um, I knew they weren't going to lose the titles, but I think it was it was they had a, like a lot of good false finishes and such. Um, it was a live event, but you know I was young, confused. I didn't really understand if title changes happen that often. I don't know. Next, Will Ferrara defeated Adam Page. Don't remember this match as well, but I think Roderick Strong or BJ Whitmer like got a confrontation or something, but. Adam Page, he's doing great things. Will Ferrara, he's doing something with Reptitis. I don't know. Next, for the TV title, Jay Lethal versus R.D. Evans. Now, if you don't remember this, this match was actually a huge deal. It went 20 minutes. I can't believe that. Maybe some of you were saying, who the heck is R.D. Evans? Um, maybe you don't even remember him. But he was like this like really skinny, kind of like lanky, tall wrestler. And he defeated Jobbers. He was with Moose and... Uh, that one redhead chick. I forget her name. Um, but he, he had like this thing called the New Streak. And he would just beat Jobbers or win by disqualification. But he racked up like a hundred and something wins. Something crazy. They kept changing it like every time. 
Um, and so I remember this was a live event show, and it was uh, Lethal with a TV title versus R.D. Evans. And the streak was, like, actually big. Like, it was one of those things that it's kind of, like, stupid, but you love it because it's so stupid. Um, and, it, like, people, I remember tweeting about it, were mad that this wasn't going to be televised because they really wanted to see him win the TV title because a lot of people thought he was going to beat Jay Lethal. That, of course, didn't happen. Moose ended up turning on him, um, so that cost him the streak. But I got to see a, like, notable streak, notable, quote-unquote, uh, streak be ended. So I guess that was cool. But this was, like, a huge deal, and it shouldn't have. I remember when it was announced, I was kind of like, oh, I wish Jay, Jay Lethal was doing something better, but... I remember the reaction. It was half and half lethal and Artie Evans, and it was cr it was crazy. Like it was, it's it's kind of stupid when you look back on it, just how like meaningless it was. But I remember the crowd was so freaking hot for it, like even more than like the main event. It was so weird. Uh, next, it was uh, Adam Cole versus Christopher Daniels, a fantastic match, definitely the best match I had seen. Um, it, that night it was the best match it beat the main event and uh, it was an awesome awesome and one that I remembered like today it was really good um, and I was really happy to see like Adam Cole versus the veteran Christopher Daniels last but not least the main event for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship Jay Briscoe defended against ACH in a really good match one thing I remember was ACH's family was there because it was in San Antonio and I believe that's where he's from he might be from like Austin or something but it was like um, a big moment. His whole family was there. They were sitting, not next to me, but, like, pretty close. So I could hear what they were saying and stuff. And I remember, like, one of his, like, like, there's a little kid in his family. I don't know who, like, association, like, cousin or something. I don't know. Um, uh, but I remember after the match, Briscoe won. And the kid was like, he won, he won, ACH won. And, like, the mom or whatever had to be like, shut up, he didn't win. Or, like, the, his, like, brother or something. It was so funny. Uh, but it was a good match. Again, I, I like, knew ACH wasn't going to win because it was a live event. It was for the World Championship. But, like, during it, I was like, he's going to win. This is it. This is it. I'm right with his family. This is going to be a great moment. It's going to be a beautiful moment. Um, I'm going to be in a family photo. Uh, but, of course, that didn't happen. It, I was very naive and dumb. I still am. But, you know, it was, it was a lot worse back then. That was my first Ring of Honor show. My first independent show ever. Um, it's really fun to look back on it and just talk about all the matches and, like, like stuff I really cared about. But now it's like... Uh, that guy's not even with the company more, blah, blah, blah. You know, so it was fun to look back on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what your first independent show or Ring of Honor show you remember and, like, any notable moments or whatnot. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.